So this is the first time I'm driving with all this new setup. So let's see how it goes, but I, I think it's gonna be fine. I want to show you this new setup today. So let's move from home. <laughs> wait a few things have changed here on the dashboard so I'll show you all this we have some mounts for everything and it's way better than before I have quite some space I cannot say if it's the same as before going out of the car I want to show you the dashboard because it has changed compared to before we have added a few items replaced the radio and all that I'll do a separate video like this you will have all the correct information and detailed information on our new dashboard setup but I know you want to see it too so here's the dashboard first of all we've put back the sun visors what has changed a lot, in fact, is that we added those RAM mounts almost everywhere, even the GPS is on the RAM mount. We have some here too, and this makes it a lot easier. I can put my phone there or uh, the passenger can put uh, his phone there, the driver puts his phone there and look we have replaced this radio. Let's start with this setup. So on the front you can see the bedboard. It's made of birch and on the passenger side we have this new light. The one that was going here in the middle we replaced it and took one from Mud UK and what is great with this one is that of course when you open the door there we have a light it didn't work anymore before and we can also choose to put a red light so you can see here this is the construction of the pop-up roof the base the one that doesn't go up obviously <laughs> Here we have some small lights. Here there's a hole <laughs> and this hole in fact is supposed to be for, I think some of you have movement, alarm or something like this in the Defender. So this was the hole. We can hide some stuff in there. <laughs> the grey paint you can see here and on the outside of the pop-up roof is supposedly the same color as our car. I sent a piece of our car so he could have the right color. We have another light here. You can see the gas shirt for the bed. So it makes it way easier to put the bed up. And at the back, there's also another light here, another light there and a light here. This makes it really cool for all the passengers because we have lights all around the car. Okay, so this was the kind of front uh, part. See, I'm sitting at the back of the car and I still have some space for my head. Would a tall person be fine at the back? That's a good question. We saw how they did the work and honestly it 
We were really impressed and knew that how they were working meant that it was a good quality product. Of course, having a pop-up roof, it does change the look of the Defender, but we kind of like it and feel that it does go with our kind of super beast look Defender. Of course, with the big wheels, the mud tires <laughs> look better than winter tires, but you know, we're gonna switch soon. Now that we have this pop-up roof, I don't know what you think about it, but I feel that <laughs> the Defender is really neat and tidy with this pop-up roof and not having all the cables all along the snorkel to go up and power up everything that was on the top on the roof rack and not having a roof rack i think it looks good i don't know tell me what you think about it another thing that we have changed is the side of the awning and the rough parts table with the max tracks on why did we put it on this side i know it's not very conventional to put the awning and a side table on this side because the rear door the trunk door does open that way and does block the passage to go fetch some stuff inside of the car from the back but as we have the fridge on a platform the other side it's quite high and we are planning also to upgrade for a larger fridge and we think that what we will do in a practical way is come here at the back to go get the food in the fridge and also to put the food <laughs> the fresh food in the fridge so we decided that we would would mostly open this door and have everything kind of here and that we would put stuff on the side table there and use the awning more often um, not more often but it would be more useful for us to have the awning on this side than keeping it the other side and the fact that we have the rough parts table on this side now also allows us to open this gullwing and directly access the interior of the Defender because as you might already know, we have a huge electrical setup inside on this side of the car. And when we open this gullwing, we have access to part of our electrical uh, components. How cool is that? <laughs> We have a uh, gas shed here now to open the door and it's so easy. So here we go, the interior setup with the new pop-up roof. This is the tidiest setup that I've ever seen in a Land Rover Defender camper. So I'm gonna just do a quick visit. So you know here we have this ARB drawer and it was really important for us to have the drawer can you hear the kids? I'm sure you can hear the kids. Well, never mind. A bunch of kids playing in the forest, so it's nice to see them out. The base of our interior setup, we really wanted to have a large drawer that would take up all the space at the rear of the Defender. It was important for us because in there we stored all the tools. And it was important because most of what here in these tool bags was in fact in the rear of the Defender and every time we wanted to do the sleeping setup inside of the Defender we needed to take all the bags from the back and put them in front and it was a lot of handling. So this drawer was here to remove the handling when preparing the sleeping setup. Next we made this beautiful <laughs> interior setup with 30 millimeters aluminum profiles 80 20 i think you call them in the us then here we have birch wood panels they are 12 millimeters uh, thick and in there i thought that i would be able to store my personal stuff and the kids well our personal stuff when we go out uh, traveling on longer holidays but no uh, everything that we had uh, in the box on top of the defender everything that we had in some of the tool, tools bag is 
inside of this setup. The second most important part of our interior setup after this drawer to store everything, not everything, but most of our stuff was the electrical setup. And we decided to go for an in portable induction hub and this was like the main purpose of having this huge electrical setup and now that we have it possibilities are endless and this is just amazing and I'm really happy that my husband managed to do all this. You might say it takes up a lot of space. For us it was really important to have the best electrical setup for our needs and what we wanted to do with uh, the Defender when we will travel on the long term. So for us it even takes up less space than what we thought. Then the interior setup. So we have the pop-up roof with the first bed, like the comfortable two-place bed. And it was also important for us to keep the same um, setup as before, meaning that we are a family of four, two adults, to children, teenagers, and we wanted to be able to sleep the four of us inside of the vehicle before we had a rooftop tent. So we were sleeping up there in the rooftop tent and the kids were sleeping inside of the Defender. But when we set up the camp for sleeping, nothing was left outside of the Defender and we really wanted it to be the same. So the third part of our interior setup is the sleeping layout with some storage space inside. For this interior setup, it was important for us, maybe for me, <laughs> to have something that would look really good. And we were able to find those black aluminum profiles. They are 30 by 30 millimeters. This is marine carpet, so it should be all good um, to withstand uh, humidity or fire. It wasn't easy to make this setup because when you start to measure everything, you're not 100% sure all will go. And we did make some mistakes, but in the end, it goes really well. Yeah, so we had a great setup before, in fact, but uh, when we decided to redo everything, the most important part of this setup was to make it really more efficient and really more easy to set up, like just move our personal stuff, open the pop-up roof and go to bed. This is why we also added a wood panel here on the rear bench. Like this, we just have to fold those back seats and then our second sleeping layout is ready. It isn't 100% finished and we will need to test everything out on the weekends to see how this setup goes when we are the four of us and opening everything and putting the mattresses for sleeping. I'm just gonna show you a bit of our interior setup and show you what really didn't go as planned and which is in fact good in the end for us how can i say that like a mistake that ends up okay in the end one of the first mistakes we did is in fact some measurement mistakes for this interior setup so here in fact the middle ones are too short and the ones from the front and the back go all the way to the defender's body and here there's a hole but this mistake was in fact really good because of this i think we would have had some issues to have it completely against the body what isn't finished is here <laughs> we have this hole behind the back seats when we fold the back seats and for the moment we're going to leave it like this because we aren't too sure if it's 100% necessary to have something because if we need something here it means that we would have to think about having
some kind of wooden panel here on top and as we measured everything really properly and that this wooden panel cannot go further or be longer or whatever because when we fold the back seats the panel needs to be a certain size and not too long or else you can't fold the back seats. What isn't 100% correct but we think it will be okay is that this rear panel from the back seats isn't 100% flat with this layout so we will see how it goes when we go sleeping the first time and also as you can see we have the place here for the fridge meaning that the person who will sleep on the right side this one will be fine like this but the one on this side will have to be a bit like this and the one who sleeps on this side will have the fridge right next to the legs and will take a bit of space on the sleeping area but I'm not tall and I'm lying on this side for the moment and it's fine for me. Another point on which we really have to be careful when we are sleeping on this side and also going up we will need to be very careful of this uh, panel and also on the inverter buttons because they are really kind of small and I hope that we won't break anything and here we have the heater this was like kind of a recap of what we did with our interior build and the mistakes we've made and what we have to be careful of but we haven't been outdoors and free camping and sleeping in the Defender with this new setup so we have no idea how it will be we have an idea and know that it will be like just amazingly easy to set up uh, our beds and I think that we will enjoy this a lot we've already been the four of us uh, in the Defender just to test out like when the power roof is up and the space we didn't plan to be able to chill inside of the Defender with this pop up roof and with our sleeping, uh, not our sleeping, but with our interior setup. And in fact, I think we're going to be able to just chill inside of the car if the outdoors elements are really rough and really bad and awful. I think that we would be able to be the four of us inside of the car with the pop up roof open and be kind of okay the purpose of this video was to show you the pop-up proof but i'm showing a bit of everything because i'm kind of excited about all this and really really looking forward going out this weekend to test everything and see how easy and how our choice that we made over all this 2022 year does come out like amazingly well for our way of traveling now i've showed you uh, what we changed on the outside our interior setup interior build oh look at this it's like kind of a side table and my husband added some usb sockets all the way and we can turn them on turn them off four of them up there like this we can recharge uh, our phones or small electronics while we are there now you want to know the power proof right so is it really easy to open i think i can say yes our rooftop tent was kind of okay and easy to open but we really needed to climb on the car on all sides and 
I wasn't tall enough to reach from the side of the car, so I had to go on the roof rack to open the rooftop tent and also to close it. And it wasn't that easy. Now, look at this. I have to just remove the uh, bungee cord, how do you call it? A second one here. There, so this is the tent cloth is all good. Then I'm gonna put this there and hope you can see. There's the latch. So I just open it. There's a second one right behind the camera. Just so easy. I mean, it's crazy, like no strength at all. Just open it. Then what are we gonna do? So I'm a bit stressed because I haven't done this often, so I'm not. I'm always checking if I didn't forget anything, but I think it's all good. And now I have to push. Can I push it with my hand? No, it's a bit, <laughs> it's a bit too heavy. Now I push it. And that's it. It's open. Okay. Let's visit this pop-up roof. <laughs> it's 100% custom made. So the base obviously is the same for all defenders, 110, but then you can choose color, tent cloth, accessories. We have this small button here on. This is off, on, and up there, we have two lights. And this button is accessible when you're standing outside of the car. And because of where they are placed, even when the power roof is closed, you can use them to light up here, the rear. So right now I'm sitting on the mattress of the power roof and I'm gonna open all sides of the tent. Not really good at this for the moment. Okay, visit. It's 100% custom made. There's obviously the base and then you can choose everything. The color, the tent cloth, bed, the mattress. If you want some mosquito nets, if you want some windows on the side, if you don't want some, you can choose everything. I think that this is what makes it awesome and that it really goes with our car because in fact we were able to choose everything uh, according to what we like and the look of our car and I think that the look, the finished look is really neat and tidy and I like it a lot and knowing that it will be really um, convenient to use is really really cool. We chose a grey tent cloth and we also chose to have mosquito nets and we can open them also like the window. Then the top here with those two lights you can move them around they're not dimmable but they are really nice this is a color that normally he does it's kind of light gray but if you want another color it's absolutely possible then there's the mattress we asked for a special cover of the mattress to have something that will withstand all the outdoors and all that 
and I chose it light grey. And then we have the bedboard, which is birch wood. And if you're really tall, like our friend who took the same pop-up roof, he didn't take the gas strut for the bed. This way he can move the bedboard a bit further like this. He has a bit more space at the back for his long legs. So see, you can do it exactly the way you need it to be. Now this window, we also took the one with the mosquito net. So this is how we just detach. When it's rolled up, just pull and then it's down. So this goes on the outside and this is the mosquito net. And you just scratch it. Look, I'm still have like a huge lot of space here and I can just kneel down. Whoops. As I said before, I think we will be able to chill inside of the car. I'm just hit sitting here. We still have like a lot of space here uh, just next to the bedboard and I haven't shown you it yet, but look, we can, okay, I can't do it with one hand in fact. I need my both hands. Oh no, 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 no. I can just open it with one hand. There are some gas strut on the bed. And now look at this. It's all open. There, we have finished with the electrical setup. We like 95% done with the interior setup. We have the pop-up roof put on, but one part of our camper isn't done yet and will be started at the end of this year. Can you guess what it is? Did you notice that it's November and I'm in t-shirt. Is this normal? Weird, huh? Now to close the power proof, I can do it by myself. I must admit that because we have added some solar panels on the roof, I can do it because before there weren't the solar panels, I tried to pull it down, just hanging all my weight and it was impossible for me to close it. I did find a trick to be able to close it is that when I'm uh, hanging myself up there I do put my legs like this and pull and I have my legs blocked here so I can add a bit of strength to close the pop-up proof there so it's easy but you still need to have some Wait, I want to say. You just really need to be careful. There's no tent cloth stuck in here when you put it because otherwise it's possible to damage it. Just put it on and that's it. There we go, all good for this first visit. And I look forward to sharing some outdoors, free camping and everything that goes it. Wood fire, fire cooking, just spending good times outdoors with the children and with my husband. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been a long time and we are working on this setup for so many weeks and months that it became quite a bit, mm, I don't want to say annoying, because we are grateful that we are able to do this kind of setup and that we were able to build most of it ourselves, but it's hours and hours of research and trying to find the good components and all that. So it was 
an exhausting year, but it's gonna end just perfectly. See you in the next one. Bye.